Russian period, a lot of them. So the first, uh, the more, most recent one is uh, the one on the end, where you see uh, columns, columns from the synagogue reused into a wall. This is reused by, in a wall by uh, Kishner. It's used horizontally, originally it was the, Yes, for sure. He found a lot of stones from the synagogue, and some of them he put on the porch, uh, visible, and some of them he put on the walls uh, to make walls. <laughs> okay, anyway, this was a wall which belonged to um, El, um, the first uh, building he did here, which was a very small building, just uh, the, the, the length of this wall was very small, and the same in the other side, in the church, just this length was. Now it's much larger. Okay, and uh, then uh, he enlarged the building, the two parts, so this wall was uh, taken out by him. We found uh, like that, as, as uh, it appears now, this is what we found. Anyway, then uh, under uh, my feet here, there is a, a wall from Mamluk time. This is a wall, original wall of the mosque, but under the level of the floor. So Lidius Geisler uh, took down the, the mosque completely, just uh, not to risk <laughs> that the mosque wanted to, to come back. So, uh, but uh, the original wall is this. Also inside the church were found two big uh, uh, foundation of the pillars, because the pilgrim says that the mosque was divided in two uh, aisles. Uh, divided by a line of, uh, of pillars. So we found Pilgrim uh, um, was uh, thinking about uh, uh, pillars from a church, mm -hmm. but it's not, it's uh, just uh, the, the mosque, uh, which appears to be Mamluk, also from, uh, from uh, the excavation. So um, also many Mamluk remains were found recently by Alexander. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. We found uh, nearby many Mamluk remains. Father, uh, the only thing I understood is that this was the wall of the mosque, but yes. I didn't understand who built those two walls. Yes, this wall here, this is the wall of the uh, atrium of the synagogue. This one. Very large wall. Well, yes. sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. It, it continues, it continues in this direction, always straight. Um, until the end of the property, of the second property and uh, beyond. So this is the wall of the synagogue. What is the direction, the orientation of the Orientation is I am uh, in south and you are north. <coughs> yes. So the synagogue was in this part or in this part? In this part. So this yes. is the atrium? No. Atrium. Atrium take all the church also. The synagogue was outside the church and the, only the beginning was excavated because the property ends uh, soon. And uh, but the monument continues outside under the road, under the houses. And the synagogue was on going south to Jerusalem. South to Jerusalem. Yes. So, um, also from the atrium of the synagogue are the bases for the pillars, one and two, here. Because one, one and two. So, it looks a lot of two Yes. And the, the level, the level of the mosaic which is inside is the level which is preserved there between the pillars. So this is actually this is a level is a preparation for a mosaic. But a mosaic was not found except two small pieces, one in the inscription, which was known, and then other small piece on the opposite part, a small piece. Uh, otherwise the mosaic was lost. Only the preparation in a very thick <coughs> layer of, uh, of um, a strong preparation of the mosaic as used to be. And uh, this uh, uh, kind of uh, flooring was continuing everywhere. So it was a clear uh, division, subdivision between what was up and what was down. We started to dig from this. 
above this level, everything was all mixed, uh, already excavated in the past, uh, uh, um, difficult to distinguish. But beneath that, everything was perfect and uh, archaeologically. Uh, so when you came in 1999 or 1997, seven. you started, nobody touched it before? And some, somebody has already built this uh, house before and so on. But under the level of the preparation of the mosaic floor, it was untouched. So this, this wall was already... Yeah, the whole is um, all the the, the, uh, What we found is a uh, remains of a house so with uh, two rooms connected through a, um, through a, a door. So that was the first century? Uh, this is first century, yes. And uh, uh, in the second room, there were many remains of pottery. Uh, some of them uh, was possible to restore completely. And then we put uh, in the... Uh, and now we will put also a jar, which are uh, starting to put together. And uh, they told me that uh, taking away all the money uh, down, they found uh, some other pieces and they saw them over there. <laughs> yes, because if we continue to excavate there, this is a very thick layer of ashes and, uh, and uh, it is not yet the, the original floor of the house. So maybe there is much more there, but I don't want to excavate there like I did in this place because it, uh, uh, you will not understand what it is. Like here, it looks like a hole. Uh, it's not good. Maybe we will feel again. Mm -hmm. I excavated to, to know from which time the houses were. And you know the there for first Yes, century. yes. The first bottom. century, uh, also before Christ. This is the bottom of the uh, house. The, uh, the, um, the beginning of the house. But the end of the house is at the end of the century after Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, the revolt. Uh, this, this is the bottom of the house, is there? Yeah, yeah. No.